Welcome everyone to a new Let's Play. I'm Sparrow557 and this is Clover for the PS1. Uh, this game was released in 1999 uh, for the PS1 uh, and it came out for the N64 uh, a year before that and I think the PC as well. So uh, yeah, but oh, okay, I guess it's just starting. Uh, I guess it's starting a demo, but um, yeah, I've wanted to do this game for a while. Uh, okay, yeah, that's just the demo, we don't really need to see that, because we're going to do that anyway. So, uh, yeah, let's see our controls, um, options here. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think everything is okay here. So, wait, how it scores? Oh, okay, it's just normal. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll start a new game. So, um, yeah, I, I really like the concept of this game. We have to, um, you know, take your ball with you. You have to collect uh, cards. Okay, so this thing will tell us these golden question marks. Okay, yeah, it's just saying the same thing. So, I think... Wait, how do you uh, turn off the, um, the thing? Okay, triangle makes the camera do that. I haven't played this game in a while, so... Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to get used to this. Uh, but this is the hub world right now. This is the hub of the game. And in the N64 version, you don't... Um, quite cards in it, and I think actually the cards are called something else, and I, I don't remember. Okay, so yeah, you can't hold uh, the ball with the pin water. Uh, that just said. So, uh, okay, well, I, I should really find the ball um, right now. Okay, so it's over here. Uh, yeah, I think it's down here. Okay, yep. Yeah. I guess we'll read this. Okay. So, yeah, if you have the ball with you and collect the cards, uh, you get more points for doing that. And you can change your ball into a different thing, it's like a bowling ball. Uh, I guess, is this a marble maybe? Or, I don't know what it is. That's why I always thought it was, and this is the crystal wall, and that one can really increase the amount of cards you get. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll show it here if I keep changing it to this. Now it gives times two. So uh, yeah, I can move the camera with the uh, right analog stick for some reason. Okay, so yeah, you have to uh, make it go over. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, okay, I missed. Uh, okay. Mm, I don't know if I... Okay. Can I was getting stuck there, actually. Let's read this. Okay, yeah. Cancel any move. Okay, I, I don't remember how you... Oh, yeah. Okay, select. Uh, if you press select, it tells you all stuff, and you get rid of it by pressing select. Wait, did we not read this one? Okay, yeah, yeah. You keep holding X to bounce upstairs. And you can uh, just keep jumping by just holding X. But uh, we can... Uh, can we kind of get over here? Um, okay. Um, okay, yeah, you can just throw it on or uh, just bounce it on. So uh, get a ton of cards for that. 33 out of 60 cards in this hub world, but um, you might be wondering why I'm doing this. Uh, why, am I, why am I doing the PS1 version? Because uh, a lot of people say, you know, the N64 version is more better. And this one, this version can be a, b a bit glitchy and stuff. Uh, and it just doesn't look as good as the N64 version. And I think it's, it's going at a lesser frame rate for some reason. Because uh, it's only going at 20 FPS right now, so it's very weird. Uh, okay, can we get off the ball? And you can punch, press X and uh, press square to slam down and stuff. Um, uh, these are all the, the levels you can go to. Lots of different worlds. So, uh, yeah, but the reason why I'm doing the PS1 version is because... Uh, I've never really seen a PS1 version Let's Play. Uh, all the Let's Plays that I can find of this game on uh, YouTube is uh, is the N64 version. So, you know, I thought I'd do this, and I, I do like this game. It can be annoying at some times, but it'll be interesting to see how well I do it. Um, and the levels don't really take that long to do, so uh, so yeah, we we should be good. Uh, I think I'll just you know this will just be outside. Let's play. Um, I'll just do this whenever I want. Uh, I'm just gonna do this LP on the side. So yeah, I'll take the ball to the cave. Um, right. So where are the remaining? Uh, cards, or oh, I think they're called Garibs, if I'm not mistaken. Um, okay, if we, yeah, if we press L2 when you're standing on it, you can automatically go on it. Okay, there's some boxes over here. This will tell us about these here. Okay, yeah, without the ball. Okay, yeah, jump, press square and mid -air. I missed. Okay. So, yeah, there's some cards in here. Or cards, uh, but I mean, they, they kind of move weird because they kind of bend or. I don't know. But it's uh, pretty cool. And now there's uh, a bird here on a swing. Um, let's see what's this about this. Oh, okay. Fist on switch, so yeah, these ones, these switches, you can only fist on them. Uh, okay, I guess I'll get my points here with this. Ah, uh, didn't get 500. Uh, but actually, wait, if we to get this uh, this thing here, oh, we've got all the cards. Yes, all carrots. Okay, if you fist slam on the ball, you do that and get the thing. And this bird makes weird noises. Um, I think it's a cheat code. You can actually do cheats on the pause menu, and yeah, if you do lots of stuff like that, with L1 and R1, and I think you can use L2 and R2. But I guess I'll, I might talk about that later on in this Let's Play. But uh, okay, so we've got uh, all the cards. Oh, I think we've read all the question marks, golden question marks. Hopefully I have. 
I can see all of them have faded out, so... Is there anything up here? Uh, no, I don't think so. Got all 60 things. So now we have to go in here. Go in the cave, like I said. And... Uh, what's gonna happen now? Okay, yeah, this ball goes to a statue. Um, so, yeah, it makes a crystal and it opens the uh, Atlantis realm, I think it is. Uh, let's read this question mark here. Actually, in the N64 version, it's, they don't have uh, question marks, they have uh, this, um, there's like a hat, and it's called Mr. Tip, so... Yeah, I don't know why they didn't put him in this version, but yeah, so that's what you have to do. Uh, uh, it's really weird, because um, I'm using... Uh, I'm recording this on, a, on an emulator, and um, I, I can move the camera with uh, R3, the, the, the right stick, and... I don't think you could do that in the PS1 version, the actual thing, the actual version, so I don't know. Uh, that's really weird. I can make it go um, everywhere, I, I, not just left to right, but up and down, and yeah, I guess that'll help for later levels. Uh, so, um, yeah, now we've opened this, uh, this room, so I guess I'll go in here and finish this part off. Uh, okay, it kind of lags because it's, I guess it's trying to do more frames when it can't because for some reason my Fraps recording software is, is really weird. I, I don't understand. I've never been able to figure out how to fix it, so... Uh, okay, right, let's read this. To open a store, defeat the boss. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, yeah, we have number one. This is the first level, so... Oh yeah, I will do this in the next part. So, this has been part one of Clover uh, for the PS1. I'm Sparrow557. I really hope this Let's Play will be fun. And yeah, I'll see you in the next part when we start the very first level properly. So, that's it. Goodbye for now.